Hello everyone, my name is Halmar, and it is that time of year again. Uh, I'm a little late to this, but about a week ago I caught wind of one of Snowpiercer's first Season 3 teaser trailers dropping, and as unsubstantial as it is in some aspects, I still wanted to let you all know how it turned out in my mind, what I think is going to be happening for Season 3, and just generally give my thoughts on it. The trailer opens with a shot of Snow Pirate stopped again in an unknown location, although we might assume that this is somewhere near or even in the Rocky Mountains due to this mountain being right here, the context for this trailer is that much time has passed between Season 2 and Season 3, as indicated by Zara's pregnancy having progressed greatly, and Mr. Wilford and Bennett's facial hair being much longer. Later in the trailer, we do get a shot of a tree that I'm not sure the species of, or even that if it's a real species at all, but I would say that this is definitely just a flashback of some kind that has to do with the global warming that led to the deploying of CW7 as indicated by all these dead trees surrounding this one main tree, and despite the low quality of the image, you can see very clearly clearly the filter on the edges of the screen that would be indicative of a flashback sequence. And out of all the shots in the trailer, the most intriguing are these three. I think it's safe to assume that this is another science station, much like the one in Season 2. Whether this is Andre's group of pirates or Wilford's group is unknown, but we do see another station in Season 3. Whether that's Braslauer Station itself, like in Season 2, that's unknown, but we will be seeing another science station of some kind. However, I'd be more inclined to think that it's Wilford's people, as in a separate shot that appears to be something that isn't on no or big allies, although it still could be. We see a group of people in what might be suits meant for the outside world. If this is true, then that would mean that this is the fourth shot of the science base, most likely. And this is clearly a person, whether they are alive or not is unknown, but, but given how only three out of the five members is pointing their light at this person, it's safe to assume that they're not alive, or else they would be attracting way more attention if someone was alive out there. Two shots that I firmly believe are the same situation are these two, which seem to indicate that something is definitely wrong with Snow Pirate systems. Likely here in Engine Eternal, since this appears to be the engineer's quarters and what other compartment or component of the train on Snow Pirate could possibly be malfunctioning to this great extent other than the engine eternal itself. What the problem could be is completely unknown, and the same can be said about how it contributes to the story. The only vague ideas I have are that this is just another system malfunction that may force Andre and his pirates to return to Wilford at a greater pace in order to get a fix like they had to last time the engine eternal messed up. Another possibility is that there could be an outside force doing this, a force that could be Icebreaker. If any of you know me, you know that I want to see Icebreaker. Icebreaker. One possible theory I have for the plot is that Andre and his pirates try to turn Sykes and Audrey to their cause, and both of them fake it to get out of their chains. Along the way, Sykes becomes a true believer, but Audrey remains the same, remains loyal to Wilford, and attempts whatever causes those explosions. Whether that's her trying to send a signal to Mr. Wilford, but ends up doing something incredibly horrible because she doesn't know what she's doing, that's up for interpretation. But the only way we can really figure that out is if we see more footage of the show. One final shot that is worth mentioning is someone watching another person walk out into to the white. Who these people could be is completely unknowable with the current information, and nothing can really be said other than that. Well, that's really all I have for today. I apologize for the poor picture quality. The source of the screenshots that I made are from a pretty poor source of recording. I will leave that uh, recording in the description, a link to the video, so that way you can see the original video and hear a bit of the audio going on and stuff like that. I haven't really found anything about the audio particularly influential about my statements over all the screenshots, but if you want to hear the audio, you can go down there and click the original video and see it for yourself. While you're down there, please consider subscribing. This is the beginning of Snowpiercer's return to prominence. Uh, over the next few months, we will return back to normal and return to my normal schedule instead of the channel being relatively dead. So please do try and subscribe. It helps the channel a lot. It's completely free and you can always subscribe whenever you feel like it. Like I said, there will be much more Snowpiercer content coming out in the next few months. And uh, with that out of the way, I'll see you in the next video.